Welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to install geometrics panels. So for the deluxe geometrics and the regular geometrics, both are floor models, they have panels A through I. And for the micro geometrics, there's two additional panels, so they have A through K. Now the panels install the same across all units. So we're going to start with the easiest panel, A. So panel A goes on the four face plates or the back plates of the geometrics. So as you can see, this is how panel A installs. It can be installed on the front four face plates or the back. Now panel B has a little bit of a tilt to it. So it can be tilted from the front to the back or from the back to the front. For panel B, you want to remember that it's a vertical tilt. And there is panel B. Now panel C, instead of a vertical tilt, it's going to have a horizontal tilt. So you can install the front pins and then the back two pins. So as you can see, here is panel C installed. So let's move on to D. And D is pretty easy. It just installs straight and it goes across two sections of the geometrics. There is panel D. Now panel E, instead of being vertical and straight on the plane, it's going to go horizontal. So we'll install panel E. Both panels D and E can be installed on the back of the geometrics as well. So as long as it, it can be either on the front or the back we have panel E installed, so we'll move on to panel F, which is a giant square. So this can be installed on the front or the back as well. Now for panel F, I decided to install it on the back, so it kind of gives it more of a backdrop look, because we're going to install panel G, which looks really nice over the top of panel F, because G is the diamond-shaped panel. Panel G can also be installed on the back of the geometrics as well. So it doesn't always have to be on the front. As you can see, we have panel G installed, and let's move on to H. Now H is a little more difficult because we're gonna use three squares and we're going to kind of weave the panel through the three squares. So I'm gonna start with H on the front. Then I'm gonna flip it to the back. What's great about the geometrics is the panels are super easy to install and you can create lots of different configurations with the panels. So for panel H, we're going to do, as you can see, a tilt on the top, straight through the middle, and then tilt on the bottom. And once again, all these panels can be installed the opposite way. So they can be installed from the back to the front, or H can also be installed horizontally. And we're going to move on to our final panel, I. I is the final panel for any of our floor models, which is the Deluxe Geo and the regular geometrics. So I'm just going to install it right here. And once again, this panel can be installed from the back to the front. I've installed panel I, and since I'm working on a micro geometrics, I get two additional panels, J and K. J is a horizontal panel that can be either on the front or the back, and it just goes straight across the display. Since there's so many different configurations with the panels, you can really truly make this display your own. Now that we have J installed, K is the vertical version of J. So it can be installed on the front or the back of the geometrics. What's great about the geometrics is the panels are super easy to install and you can create lots of different configurations with the panels. It is just that easy to install your geometrics panels. I'll see you next time for another Quick Tip Tuesday.